Uh, greetings, friends. It's me, Wayman, and um, I just got a K-Bar United States Marine Corps fighting knife. You might say, Wayman, uh, you playing Rambo? What are you doing? Well, I got sick of carrying a hatchet around, and um, I knew the K-Bar was a really good brand, and I needed a knife that I could take boating, kayaking, and hiking uh, that could really take a good beating and um, stand up to a lot of the wear and tear that it's probably going to get. So I got the full size. Uh, this was, I think, 60 bucks. And um, so this is a pretty good quality knife. Um, I believe it was made in <clears throat> 1942 and was issued to uh, the Marines. I don't know the exact history. Uh, there's plenty of videos on that. And if you want to know the specs on the knife, watch those other videos. Or they're right here on the box. But um, from watching other videos, uh, I didn't know anything about knives. This is the probably only knife that I, well, this is the only quality knife that I own uh, for taking out into the um, recreational camping and um, hiking and things like that. Um, I have a uh, Winchester uh, fixed blade and a uh, uh, Winchester uh, fold knife that I was using, but I needed something uh, a little bit bigger so I didn't have to carry a hatchet. Uh, I needed something I could process firewood with and um, I've seen a lot of recommendations that this would be it. And it's a really good knife. So I'm going to do the grand opening. But, but what I want to talk about is um, the blood groove. Now, a lot of guys online, um, uh, you know, uh, suspect, uh, you know, there was an urban myth. You know, they say it was an urban myth um, that the blood groove was put in, you know, to let blood out. <clears throat> whatnot. But a lot of guys say that it's to take weight out of the blade and there's hypothesis hypotheses about, you know, it might strengthen the uh the top of the blade and whatnot. Um being that I didn't know anything about knives, here, here we'll open this up. Um I I took this knife down to uh my father, who is a meat cutter. And um I said, Dad, can you like take, uh, you know, maybe a half hour or so, and, um, you know, talk to me about sharpening knives, because you get a knife like this, uh, it's like a puppy, you know, there's like this whole other thing, you know, you gotta buy the food for it, and water it, and take care of it, so because this was, uh, carbon steel, this is gonna rust really easy, so I have to keep it oiled, I have to keep it sharpened, and, um, being that I only had cheesy knives before, uh, I didn't really... I wasn't really sure on how to do that. So I said, what better person uh, could teach me than a meat cutter? So Dad uh, took a look at it, touched it up a hair, and put it on the stone a little bit. And uh, it's it's pretty sharp now. So these come sharp right out of the box. But uh, I felt a little burr on it and, um, you know, got worried and, you know, let Dad check it out. And he said, oh, yeah, it's pretty good. Let me touch it up and... Now it's touched up, needless to say. So, uh, you know, it comes with this leather carrying case. Um, so, like I said, there's videos on that. You can go check it out. But what we're discussing here is this blood groove right here. I'm going to try to be fancy and hone in or zoom in on what we're talking about. The quality of this probably isn't going to be as good zoomed in. Let me zoom out. So, so we just discussed some of the hypotheses about this blood groove. And so, Dad, being a meat cutter, um, I asked him, I said, hey, uh, guys online, they're saying that, um, you know, this was to uh, strengthen the blade, you know, um, and whatnot. Um, and, you know, some guys say that um, it's to lighten the blade. Um, what do you think? Well, 
uh, his hypothesis is that it was in fact um, a blood groove, uh, meaning that he said that some meat cutters have indentations in their blades, um, not like this, but at moon shaped, uh, to um, release the suction that the meat creates around the blade. Because sometimes when you're cutting meat, um, the suction from the meat as the knife is going in uh, would make it hard to pull that knife back because the meat sticks to the knife. So, being that I never stabbed anybody or anything like that and had no uh, clue as to why this was engineered in this fashion, um, uh, he put forth the hypothesis that that this groove here, called the blood groove, uh, he hypothesized that it may be uh, used for just that. Uh, when the knife would go in, uh, this groove here would release the suction on the sides of the blade, so it would be easier uh, to pull out. Um, so, so that's his hypothesis. So, um, the knife is made in uh, the United States. The handle is made in Mexico. This is stacked leather um, handle. These are kind of like stacked washers here. And um, so, uh, Dad put it on the stall, and you can see it's kind of, you know, I'm going to have to keep this from rusting. It, it kind of got um, <clears throat> filed a little bit there, but he, he had to do that to, to get the right angle on it. So, so he knew what he was doing, and, and I'm not too worried about it. This is more or less a tool, a good tool, high-quality tool, uh, rather than something that I'm going to, um, you know, worry about showing off to all my buddies and... Uh, you know, this, this this I just bought the other day, so, so this wasn't something that uh, Grandpa passed down to me and my dad gave to me. This was just, you know, I went into a sporting goods store and purchased uh, the K-Bar. So, maybe um, in my camping videos uh, you'll see me using it. Hopefully I can get some good use, but I know this is, is, is for the price, a uh, pretty good high-quality knife. And um, K-Bar has some awesome knives on their website and their um, their magazine so a piece of literature comes with the cable wire inside um, so I oiled this up and um, now it's sharpened up and hopefully I can uh, when the ice breaks uh, get out in the river and do some trips and, and take some hiking trips and um, get ready for that so that's my hypothesis on the blood groove uh, what do you guys think? Also, uh, for guys that use this knife, what was the standard issue uh, sharpener for this? Like, I don't understand anything about knives, but I know that these need to be sharpened. What did they hand out? If, if you guys could give me some of that information, go easy on me, guys. I don't know anything about knives or anything, and um, I'm just learning, and it's uh, I'm trying to educate myself about, about it, about the history. So I've been watching videos, but I was just wondering uh, what came with this knife uh, to keep it sharp uh, when it was issued, uh, or if anything came on. So um, take care, friends, uh, and uh, be well.